So our deck manager is drawing cards for us, but that selected card class needs to actually display the card that we drew. So we need to add the code that's going to allow it to do that. So uh, let's go to our provided scripts folder, that's resources scripts provided, and we're gonna open up the selected card method. Let's go ahead and double click on it there. And what we're looking for is our fill card method. And that's it right here. Um, and this current card equals selected card, that's a bit that's already been provided for you, but we're gonna fill out the rest of this method here. So what we need to do is take the information from that selected card and apply it to our card's image, our card's description text, and our card's title text. And I'll actually show you very quickly, if we go back to Unity and we open our canvas and we go to the cards option, this is our selected card here, and we'll see that selected card component. And if you click on each of this title text, description text, and card image, or even enable the game object so you can look at them, and we go to our game tab, you'll see there's a card that will appear in the middle, and that card title text is what will appear on top, the description text is what appears in the middle, and then the card icon is this image on the left. So we wanna update all of that with the information from our card scriptable object. So if we enable this, let's go ahead and re-disable it by unchecking the little box next to our card's name. Go back to our script um, and open up that selected card script. And what we're gonna do is set all of these values equal to the selected card's uh, variable values as well. So we're gonna say title text dot text equals selected card dot card title. And that's that title that we gave it. We're gonna say description text dot text equals uh, selected card dot card description. There we go. And then we're gonna say card image dot sprite is equal to selected card dot card image. So now when we draw a card, it's going to call this fill card method, and then that's going to actually uh, fill up that image in the middle of our screen and show us what card we've drawn. And we can actually go back and test this now by going to our game manager, going to our tile spawner, and then we're gonna set all of these slow, speed, and empty chances back to one. We're gonna set draw chance to 100. So most of the, car the spaces we land on are going to be draw spaces. We'll go ahead and hit play, and now you'll see we see mostly draw tiles appear in our game, and we'll roll dice and we'll, roll between, we'll walk between all those. We rolled a nine, which it looks like is going to land us on a draw space. So we're gonna walk and walk and walk. And then you'll see we land, and then there's that wind in your sail. So this is our, our, um, our card that allows us to target a player with the speed roll. So whenever we draw a card, we have the option to use it immediately or store it. So in this case, uh, since it's a targeted card, if I hit use, I can pick who I want to apply it to. So I'll apply it to player two because they're gonna go next. Um, and then that card disappears and now I end my turn. And now we'll see if I roll my dice, you'll see in the bottom left, it says roll after speed uh, that we've doubled our roll. So now we've rolled a 10. And that's going to roll us up in a Tevin, or it's not doubled, I'm sorry, it's uh, times 1.5. So we rolled a 7, and then that times 1.5 is equal to 10 if we round. Um, and it says we draw, drew a need for speed car. So I'm going to store this card so I can use it in a future turn. Now that I'm on player 3, I'm going to roll my dice again. I rolled a 6. There it is, there's my 6. And I think that's going to put us right here, yep. And then I'm going to store this card as well. Hit end turn, and then we'll roll again. So looks like we roll a four. I land on a speed for all card. We'll just store that for now. And now you'll see that we're back to the first player who stored a card. I have this little icon with my green uh, self speed card. And if I actually click on that, it'll pull up the card that we stored. And now I can use it. And now I have that speed buff on my player. So if I roll dice, you'll see in the bottom left, it says roll after speed. We got a 13 and now we can, we can roll. So now our game is almost complete. We can do just about everything we need to do. Uh, again, our dice roll doesn't match our actual roll because we're we're modifying this number after we decide what we rolled. Um, now we all we need to do is define what happens when we get to the end of the game. And we're going to do that in the next step as well as in the bonus steps.